Hello, in uh, my last tutorial I showed you how to put uh, Easy Populate on Zencart and how to populate a whole bunch of uh, data from uh, a supplier. And uh, in this one what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, make some changes. Uh, noticed on my Zencart that I have these images and my supplier gives me a whole bunch of different images and the images that uh, I'm using right now are 400 pixel and they're kind of a little small for what I want. Uh, they do have an 800 pixel image so this is a good opportunity for me to show you as well how to go ahead and make the changes in your uh, Zencart file for that and also how to uh, how to set up a Zencart file. Now I've went ahead and opened the file of uh, the stuff from my supplier. As you can see I've got uh, just about 2073 records in here and uh, when I get the file from the supplier all of the uh, product and category names are typically something that's uh, proprietary from the uh, supplier. So what you need to do is on your uh, Easy Populate there's an export function and if you use that export function it allows you to export a file and you can use that as a template as what you need to put in there. Now for my purposes uh, I have shipping that's calculated by the post office so I need product weight. Uh, you definitely need product price for a shopping cart so you'd want to get your price information from them as well. Product description that has to be in there and uh, uh, products yeah the name of the product and uh, also uh, very important and the most important and the item that we're going to be dealing with today is product image. Now my supplier provides images in uh, a certain format and the way the format is is the products model there's a folder of the products model with images in each folder so for example on this 913 there's a corresponding folder that I put into a uh, directory on my Zen cart under the images directory and that directory is BNFSA that's the directory and then the folder is 913 and then their convention is they have 913 underscore 400 JPEG and I need to have a 913 underscore 800 JPEG on all of these so I'm going to show you how to do that in my old antiquated version of uh, Microsoft Excel which I broke out for the first time in years and years and years today so uh, bear with me here a little bit what I'm gonna need to do to change all of this is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, insert a column there and in that column what I'm gonna have to do is reference this information over here so I'm gonna make a, a formula actually I'm not ready for the formula just yet so I'm going to title that the products underscore image. As you'll see, I've got in this line right here. It's the same. This is this is the category that's going to go into the Zen cart. So then I'll start here and I'll make a formula and that formula is going to be equals and in quotations I'm gonna put B N USA and then uh, directory slash and then I'm gonna go ahead and end quote and I'm gonna put and and I want to gather the information from here so it's and a2 and then I know I need another backslash so put in quotations another backslash and then and again and 
space, and then of course A2 again. And so let's see, that's going to give me BNFUSA. I'm going to have the number 913 here. I'm going to have the uh, slash. Then I'm going to have the number 913 again, which is what I have here. Okay, and then I need to add another and. And behind that, uh, we'll do underscore 800 pixels. So, and then JPEG. And close that in. And let's see if that works. Formula, you type contains an error, of course. Of course it does. Uh, that's the way it usually works for me. So, let's see where the error is. Hang on. Oh, silly me, I forgot to put and right here. So that should take care of it. Let's see if that, that works. Okay, and that gives us what we want. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take this and we're going to copy it all the way down to the bottom. Uh, that moves a little faster than I want it to. So, not good with managing this stuff here. 2070. I don't want to go too fast. There we go. And it, you see it populates us. So that's all I need to do here. And then, of course, we need our information in the headers over here, Y products and all that. So now that I've created that, I'm going to go ahead and delete this file here. And then I'm going to save. exists. Do I want to replace the existing file? Yes. And yes. Okay. Now I'm going to take a really bold move here and I'm just going to go ahead and upload the entire 2000 file. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I've already this this cart's uh, met its useful limit so if I break it, I break it. I'll just fix it. Build another one. No biggie. Uh, easy populate. Go back to that. And then we browse for the file and the one we want is generated list CSV or no, we want generated list XLS. I grabbed a CSV by mistake. Let's see, insert. So I've never tried to put actually 2,000 records all in one shot, but I'm going to go ahead and give that a try right now. And we'll see how bad I break it. Of course, it's going to probably take a little while. And as I mentioned before, this is a really, really neat thing if you uh, want to load up a Zen cart in a hurry. I might be trying a little too hard with 2,000 records. But uh, we'll see if it updates. If it updates, I should get a whole bunch of blue. And if it messes up, I'll get a bunch of red. In which case, I'll edit it and you won't see that. <laughs> But it's a pretty big file and it's taking it a few minutes. So hang in there and should be coming along just about any time. I'm hoping. There we go. All right, and I'm seeing blue so far. And blue all the way down indicates that it's updated all the records. And there we have it. Update complete. So we'll go back to the cart and I'll refresh this page. And now when I hit this, my window's going to open on the other side. I'll drag it back over. Yep, there we go. That's a lot more like it. So anyway, that's how you uh, deal with an Excel file. You, you get the data from your supplier and then you uh, take the data and you put the information just in the same format as you've exported your information. 
Now, in Zencart, you can just export your information or import your information. So basically, you want to have the same format. So if you don't have a testing server, what I'd strongly recommend is you do a complete uh, data dump of all of your files so that you've got that. Because I broke a Zencart earlier today. Uh, it's not a lot of fun if you don't have a backup. So thank you, and hope you enjoyed my video.